بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو سی ون فزکس کلاس ان لیسن پارٹ ون وی ہیو ڈسکس ٹاپکس ڈسٹینس ٹائم گراف اینڈ ڈسپلیسمنٹ ٹائم گراف The objectives of the current lecture are by the end of the lesson students will be able to attempt questions based on Cambridge pattern. So in the second part of the lesson, video lesson, we're going to uh, discuss the questions taken from past papers. Question number one. The graph shows the speed of a car as it accelerates from rest. During which part of this time the acceleration is uniform? And what is the size of this uniform acceleration? So we have to calculate the value of acceleration. It is constant where it is a speed time graph. When we have an the straight line, in that case the Gradient is constant and gradient of speed time graph is equal to acceleration. So in this region, we have what constant acceleration, uniform acceleration from the time interval three to two seconds. And we have to calculate the value of that acceleration. Acceleration is equal to change in velocity over change in time. So final velocity is 20 second when time, 20 meter per second when time is three second and the initial velocity is 10 meter per second when time is two seconds. So using the formula, the final answer is 10 meter per second squared. Question number two, this figure shows the speed time graph for the first 125 second of the journey of a lorry. Describe the motion of the lorry. What is happening over here? From 0 to 20 second, you can see that the acceleration is constant. Over here, acceleration is decreasing. Then in case of horizontal line, acceleration is zero. So what happens to the speed of the lorry? Actually, what is happening from 0 to 25 second, the speed is increasing uniformly. There is an equal increase in speed in equal interval of time from time 55 at 25 second to 55 second, that is in this portion, the speed is increasing non-uniformly, but, right? And, but in the next remaining time interval, that is from 55 second to 120 second, we have a horizontal line, so over there speed is constant. Now the second part of the question is that, what is happening to the acceleration in each time interval? So when, the, when we have straight line from zero to 25 second, there, the acceleration is constant. When we have a curve over here, acceleration is decreasing. And when we have a horizontal line for speed time graph, there the acceleration is zero. For time interval 55 second to 120 second acceleration is zero. Next part, calculate the maximum speed of the lorry in meter per second as well as in kilometer per hour. So speed is the maximum speed. Since it is a speed time graph, uh, the speed will be calculated by seeing the values on the y-axis. So the maximum speed is what it is 25 meter per second. It is what 25 meter per second. And we have to give the answer also in kilometer per hour. How to calculate the answer in kil kilometer per hour. So meter will be replaced by kilometer. And in one meter is equal to 10 power minus 3 kilometer. And second has to be replaced by by r so um, one second is equivalent to one over 3600 r so after simplification the answer become 90,000 into 10 to power minus 3 kilometer per hour and the final answer is 90 kilometer per hour okay the next question is the graph shows that the movement of the car over a period of 50 seconds what is the distance traveled by the car while its speed was increasing. This is a speed time graph. How to calculate the distance travel from speed time graph? We have to see, we have to calculate the area under the graph. So we need to calculate distance travel for 
50 seconds. Area is equal to half into base into height. Base is 20 seconds and height is 10 meter per second. We have to calculate this at the distance travel when the speed is increasing. So speed is increasing from the time interval 0 to 20. Whereas speed is constant from time interval 20 to 40. And from time interval 40 to 50, the speed is decreasing. So we have to only calculate the distance when the speed is increasing. That is from time interval 0 to 20. And till here, the shape of the area below this straight line is a triangle. So distance travel will be equal to area of triangle half into base into height half into 20 into 10. So answer become 100 meter. Second question, a train travels from one station to the next. It starts from rest at t is equal to zero, then it accelerates uniformly for the first 20 seconds. At time is equal to 20 seconds, it reaches its top speed of 25 meter per second. It then travels at this speed for a further 30 seconds before decelerating uniformly to rest. The total time for the journey is 60 seconds. Sketch the speed time graph for the motion of the train. Do not use a graph paper. So on, on the page, you will going to draw two axes, y-axis and x-axis along y-axis. Since we have to sketch a speed time graph, speed will be plotted on, along y-axis. It will be labeled along y-axis along with the unit. Unit is meter per second. And x-axis will be labeled by time along with the unit second. So it is mentioned that it accelerates uniformly and for the first 20 seconds. So what is the, speed, uh, the shape of speed time graph for constant acceleration? It is a straight line. So straight line will be started from origin till 20 seconds. After that, it mentioned travels with this speed, that is with the constant value of 25 meter per second, it is going to travel for further 30 seconds. Further 30 seconds means what? 50 seconds, total time becomes 50. From 20 to 50 seconds, we're going to show a constant speed of 25 meter per second. Then it decelerates uniformly to rest. So what is the shape of deceleration? We have again a straight line and it will going to start from 25 meter per second at time 50 seconds and it's going to end at 60 seconds when the speed becomes zero. So this is the shape of the graph. Second part, use your graph to calculate the deceleration of the train as it comes to rest. So this line shows deceleration. Deceleration is taking place from time interval 50 seconds to 60 seconds. Initial velocity over here is 25 meter per second. Final is zero. So initial is, initial is greater and final is smaller. So acceleration is equivalent to deceleration and x formula of acceleration is change in velocity over change in time so we have 0 minus 25 because final velocity is 0 and initial is 25 and change in time is 60 minus 50 so the final answer will be negative because we have to calculate deceleration automatically the final answer will have negative sign and it becomes minus 2.5 meter per second squared next question in part b a second train has a non-uniform acceleration. Sketch a speed time graph showing a non-uniform acceleration. So in case of speed time graph, if we have non-uniform acceleration, we will be going to draw curves. So over here, I have drawn curves. This curve shows that acceleration is increasing. The other curve shows that the acceleration is decreasing. Question number five, which graph shows the motion of a heavy steel ball falling from a height of two meter. So that is the correct graph is A. So when it falls, it falls down with constant acceleration. And constant speed time graph gives constant acceleration. Gradient of speed time graph gives constant acceleration. So A is the correct answer. Next question. A cyclist starts from rest, <clears throat> he accelerates and then travels at a constant speed. At 12 seconds, the cyclist applies the brakes and slow down. Photographs are taken of the cyclist at four second intervals. The figure show the result. Plot a distance time graph of 16 seconds. So we have to plot a distance time graph. He accelerates 
starts from there so we have a horizontal line and then it travels at constant speed so what is the shape of distance time graph if we have constant speed we have a straight line but from 0 to 4 we have a straight line till which time interval this is 8 uh, time interval 4 second and distance is 8 meter so we're going to have a straight line till 8 meter and 4 second then we're going to have again a straight line but from 4 to 8 second right and it will be till 22 meter next we have again a straight line constant speed from 8 second to 12 second and it will going to end at which distance 36 meter and next we have to plot till 16 second so since it is slowing down so this time the distance will be less than 50 so it can be any distance less than 50 over here it is above 40 40 42 so all these lines shows constant speed if we have a straight line in distance time graph that is equal to constant speed next question there are two person a and b they run a race 100 meter race at a time t is equal to zero a gun is fired to start the race the figure show the distance time graph describe the motion of the person a during the first eight seconds of the race so what is happening to this to the motion of the person a in the first eight seconds you can see that it is a distance time graph so it is a curve in the start and then a straight line so what is happening basically it accelerates or speed increases from rest and then speed becomes constant when we have straight line for distance time graph speed is constant stay the distance between the two person as the winner passes the 100 meter mark between it it is between 7 to 8 meter so at 100 mark you have to see what is the vertical distance between b and a right so one box is equivalent to over here two meter so the answer will be approximately equivalent to seven to eight meter what you have to do you have to see which point corresponds to 100 meter and then what is the distance along the vertical line between the two shapes of the graph and it will be equivalent to seven to eight meter next part calculate the speed between the time interval four second to 15 second so speed in case of distance time graph that is equivalent to the gradient and speed is equivalent to change in distance over change in time so for time interval 15 to 4 when time is 15 second the distance travel is 100 when time is 4 second the distance travel is 20 so 100 minus 20 becomes 80 and 15 minus 4 becomes 11 so the final answer is 7.27 meter per second next one the figures show the speed time graph for the first 24 second of the motion of a car along a straight road describe the motion there is a period of uniform acceleration state both the start and finish time of the period so where we have uniform acceleration this is a speed time graph right if we have a straight line straight line means in speed time graph constant gradient constant gradient means it, it, it is equal to constant acceleration so we have straight line from time interval 0 till 8 to 9 seconds right approximately 8 seconds so from 0 to 8 seconds we have a straight line so during this time interval acceleration is constant it is uniform calculate the acceleration of the car during first five seconds so how to calculate the acceleration for zeros for the first five seconds that will be equivalent to change in velocity over change in time so final velocity when time is five seconds is eight it is what eight and change in time is five
so it becomes 1.6 meter per second squared next part calculate the distance traveled in the first five seconds so in the first five seconds what is the shape of the area under the straight line it is triangle so how to calculate distance from a straight time graph you have to calculate the area under the graph and over here the shape of the area is triangle area of triangle will be equal to distance half into base into height half into base is is five second and height is eight meter per second so the final answer become 20 meter next part next question okay this is sky is traveling down the hill and the acceleration on the hard snow is four meter per second square and then on a soft snow it is two meter per second square which graph shows the motion when the person is moving from hard snow to a soft snow so correct the answer is c because for the first part the answer for acceleration should be four and the, for the second part the answer for acceleration should be two so c is the correct option next when the car driver sees an emergency ahead he applies the brake during this reaction time the car travels a steady speed and cover a distance known as thinking distance so while thinking to apply the brakes that is the distance covered before applying the brake is said to be thinking distance the braking distance is the distance traveled by the car after the brakes are applied braking distance is the distance covered by the car after applying the brakes so what you have to do calculate the thinking distance so how to calculate the distance from speed time graph you have to calculate area under the graph so thinking distance is is equivalent to the time interval shown by zero to one second over here this region this area shows the thinking process so area under this horizontal line will be equivalent to the thinking distance this is equal to area of rectangle length into breadth so over here length is 30 meter per second and breadth is one second so answer become 30 meter next you have to calculate the breaking distance breaking distance is the distance covered after applying the brakes so brakes are applied after one second so the area under this straight line is equivalent to the thinking distance and the shape of the area below this uh, straight line is triangle so distance will be equal to area of triangle and that is equal to half into base into height half into base will be 5 minus 1 and height is 30 meter per second so it becomes half into 4 second into 30 meter per second final answer is 60 meter third part calculate the deceleration of the car during braking that is you have to calculate the deceleration from time in double one second to five seconds so whenever deceleration is taking place final velocity is zero initial over here is 30 so acceleration is equivalent to change in velocity over time final velocity minus initial zero minus 30 five minus one is the time interval so it become minus 30 meter per second divided by four second final answer is minus negative 7.5 meter per second square so showing that deceleration retardation is taking place next question a free fall parachutist fall at constant speed he then opened his parachute and continues to fall to earth at lower constant speed which diagram shows the distance fallen by the parachutist varies with time so correct answer is b right when the parachute is open the person falls at lower constant speed so over here we have a straight line lower than the first starting line so b is the correct answer in this case over here for this horizontal line speed is zero speed is not zero over here again it is shows that the, uh, speed is zero but speed is not zero horizontal line shows speed is zero so a option a c d uh, they are not correct because it is mentioned clearly that speed is not zero it is constant and we get constant speed when we have straight line for distance time graph question number 12 the graph shows the speed of a runner during a race what is the distance traveled by the runner during the race 
so over here what we have we have a triangle and then we have triangle is from zero second to four second and then we have a rectangle rectangle is from four second to 14 seconds and then from 14 to 16 seconds we have trapezium right so the total distance traveled will be equivalent to sum of area of triangle then rectangle and then trapezium distance travel is equivalent to distance of triangle plus area uh, area of triangle plus area of rectangle plus area of trapezium so the formula for area of triangle is half into base into height for rectangle it is length into breadth for trapezium it is half into sum, sum of parallel sides into height so coming to the triangle base is four height is five half into four into five coming to the rectangle in rectangle the length will be 12 minus 4 and the breadth will be 5 meter per second and coming to the area of trapezium half into sum of parallel side into height so parallel side will be one side will be 5 other is this and that will be equal to 10 and height will be this height that will be from 16 towards 14 16 minus 14 so i hope it is clear this the last portion the last area trapezium it has two parallel side one is five other is 10 and height will be this height will be equal to 16 minus 40 so on simply simplification area of triangle becomes 10 meter area of rectangle becomes 50 meter area of trapezium becomes 15 meter and the final answer is 65 meter just what 65 meter next question the speed time shows the movement of the car what does the shaded area of the car uh, of the graph represent so in case of speed time graph area under the graph represent the distance travel so c is the correct answer okay the next is the car has a total mass of 900 kg and it is traveling at 20 meter per second speed at time t is equal to zero the driver sees an accident he applies brake at time is equal to 0 0.60 second to stop the car after the brakes are applied the car moves to rest in a further four second so what is the question question is that on the figure draw the speed time graph as it breaks so the first uh, it, it was mentioned that the car is traveling at a speed of 20 meter per second for first 0 0.6 second. then brakes are applied so deceleration is going to take place for the further four second means for the time interval till 4.6 second so the shape of the graph is an horizontal line constant speed that is 20 meter per second for first 0 0.6 second then after that the brakes are applied and then deceleration takes place for further four seconds so the total time interval ending time interval for this line will be 4.6 next question is state how your graph can be used to find the total distance traveled by the car simple over here you only have to write how to calculate you don't have to calculate the answer so it will be equivalent to area under the graph and the shape of the graph is trapezium so distance travel will be equivalent to area of trapezium next question a car accelerates from a traffic light for 10 seconds it stays at a steady speed for 20 seconds and then breaks to a stop in three seconds which graph shows the journey so correct answer is b first it accelerates over here it is constant acceleration over here constant acceleration so this is portion is is showing increasing and decreasing acceleration for 10 seconds and then it moves at constant speed for 20 seconds for further 20 seconds that is from 10 seconds to 30 seconds it should be a constant horizontal line so this is the correct answer and then breaks to a stop in three seconds then we have deceleration from 30 to 33 seconds so b is the correct answer next question is 
the figure show the speed time graph for a car at time 15 seconds the brakes are applied the car comes to rest with uniform deceleration state the speed of the car just before the brakes are applied so before 50 seconds what is the speed and that is equivalent to 11.5 meter per second over here two boxes two small boxes they are equivalent to one or you can say that one small box is equal to 0.5 so the answer is 11.5 meter per second explain what is meant by uniform deceleration that is what speed is decreasing equally in equal interval of time and we're going to have negative gradient next question is the lorry travels at constant speed of 18 meter per second for 50 second and at time interval 50 second the brakes are applied and the lorry slows down with the same deceleration as the car on the figure draw the speed diagram for the lorry okay now we have to start the graph from where 18 meter per second it, it will be started from where 18 meter you can see this blue line has been started from 18 meter per second right and then it has the same deceleration so for the same deceleration we first need to calculate the acceleration for the press for the situation drawn on the graph and acceleration is changing velocity over change in time so what we have we have final velocity 0 initial velocity 11.5 time interval is from 20 to 15 so acceleration deceleration becomes minus 2.3 meter per second square so with the same deceleration uh, we have to calculate the time for the second lorry and we are going to use the formula acceleration is change in, over, change in velocity over change in time so change in time will be equal to change in velocity over acceleration so the time becomes 7.8 meter 7.8 second so change in velocity is final velocity minus initial velocity so initial velocity for the second lorry is 18 for the first lorry it was 11.5 for the second it is 18 so the graph will going to start for the second lorry it is starting from 18 you can see the blue line 18 meter per second till the time interval 15 seconds after that it decelerates to zero speed and it will going to take 7.8 seconds total time between 15 till here should be 7.8 second and it is in between 20 to 25 okay next is explain how your graph shows that while breaking the lorry it travels further than the car how it shows that greater area under the graph or you can also state that okay, the second lorry its initial speed is more as compared to the first. The first lorry was moving with the speed of 11.5. The second is moving with 18 meter per second. So it has higher average speed. The second one. Okay, the next question is the speed time graph represents the journey of the car. How many sections represent the car moving with non uniform acceleration? So this is a speed time graph non-uniform acceleration means curves so we have curve over here we have curve over here so two regions they are showing non-uniform acceleration this is a speed time graph second question the diagram shows the speed time graph of the motion of the car for the four seconds what is the difference traveled by the car in the four seconds so we have to see what is the area below this graph it is equivalent to trapezium so distance travel will be equivalent to area of trapezium and that will be equal to half into sum of parallel side into height so over here what are parallel side one side is this and other is this so the length of one parallel side is one one second and the length of the other parallel side is four seconds and height will be equal to 10 meter per second so we have half into one plus four into 10 meter per second final answer is 25 meter the graph showed how the speed of a car traveling in straight line changes which section show the largest acceleration so over here we can see that we will get greatest value of gradient so d is the correct answer next question is 
A children's ride consists of a steel cable that runs between the two posts of different heights. As shown in the figure, the girl starts and finishes the ride at rest. Her horizontal motion can be taken as initial uniform acceleration for three seconds. So this is a speed time graph. Initial uniform acceleration. What is the shape of speed time graph for uniform acceleration? It is a straight line starting from zero. And we have to show this straight line till which time interval? Three seconds. Constant speed of 2.4 meter per second for further five seconds. So we have to show this straight line till which speed? 2.4 meter per second. And then we have to show this same constant speed, which is 2.4, and it will be shown by horizontal line from time interval three seconds to time interval to further five seconds. So it becomes what? Right? So we have to show it till eight seconds. 3 plus 5 is 8. After that, it is mentioned uniform deceleration. It lasts for one second. Right? So for one second, we have to show deceleration starting from 2.4 meter per second velocity, ending at zero velocity, and time interval, total time interval over here will be nine seconds. First, we have to show straight line show, showing. Uh, constant acceleration till time interval three seconds. Then constant speed is shown by horizontal line till time interval eight seconds. Then constant deceleration shown for the last one second that is from eight to nine seconds. Next question. The final deceleration is larger in size than the initial acceleration. Explain how the data show this. Because um, the final deceleration, it is occurring in shorter time period. Acceleration is equivalent to change in velocity over time. So acceleration and time, they are inversely proportional. If time is shorter, acceleration will be larger. So for deceleration, time taken is shorter. It is one second only. Whereas for acceleration, for positive acceleration, it was three seconds. So that's why the time for deceleration is shorter, therefore its value of deceleration is larger because deceleration and time, they are inversely proportional. Calculate the horizontal distance traveled by the girl in the first eight seconds. So how to calculate distance traveled from speed time graph? We have to calculate the area and the shape of the area is area of trapezium, half into sum of parallel side into height. So the parallel side, one of the parallel side is equal to five and other is eight. And the total height is 2.4 meter per second. Now you can see the figure again. Over here, this is forming a trapezium. One parallel side is 9 and other is 5. And height is, is equal to 2.4. Okay, coming back. So half into sum of parallel side into height. After substituting the values, the final answer is 15.6 meter. A cyclist takes a ride lasting 25 seconds. The diagram shows how her distance traveled from the starting point varies with time. What is the average speed? How to calculate average speed? The formula of average speed is total distance over total time. So since it is a distance time graph, so how to calculate distance from distance time graph? We have only have to see what is the final value of distance along the y-axis. And it is what 150 meter. And total time will be seen from the x-axis. It is 25 seconds. So 150 divided by 25 answer becomes 6 meter per second. Next question is the figure show the distance time graph for the two cyclists A and B. Uh, they start a 500 meter race together but finish the race at different times. In part A, you have to calculate the distance between. Uh, the two person A and B at time 20 seconds. So we have to see what is the situation at 20 seconds, what is the vertical distance between the two lines, right? So that is equivalent to the vertical distance between the two lines is equivalent to 60 meter. Two boxes over here, uh, they are equivalent to 20 meter. So it becomes, there are three boxes 
in between so it becomes 60 meter one small box is equal to 20 meter so there are three boxes approximately between these two lines so it is it becomes equal to 60 meter because one box is equal to one smaller box is equal to 20 meter second you have to calculate the difference in the time taken by a and b for the race so what is the difference in time it is 50 second minus 38 second the person a finishes finishes the race at 38 second and the second person finishes the race at 50 seconds 50 minus 38 becomes 12 seconds part b a cyclist C starts the race at the same time as A and B and cover the first 200 meter of the race at a constant speed of 5 meter per second. He then accelerates and finishes the race at 60 seconds. On the same graph, draw the distance time graph for the cyclist C. So first we have to draw constant speed till which time interval? 40. 40 seconds right and then we have to show what it accelerates and how to show acceleration by changing distance uh, by changing speed so in case of distance time graph curves they show that speed is changing so curve will be drawn till which time interval 60 seconds Second part, calculate the average speed of the cyclist C for the whole race. So how to calculate average speed? It is equal to total distance over total time. Total distance is 500 meter for all the three cyclists. And total time taken for the cyclist C is 60 seconds, it is mentioned. So 500 divided by 60 becomes 8.3 meter per second. Next question. The table describes the motion of the rocket in the first 12 seconds. From 0 to 4 seconds, it is uniform acceleration. This is a speed time graph. We have to plot uh, the given situation. So from 0 to 4, uniform acceleration. What is the shape of the speed time graph for uniform acceleration? It is a straight line till 4 seconds. Then we have increasing acceleration. So we have for increasing acceleration, we have what a curve. And curve will be like this from four to six seconds. Then we have decreasing acceleration. So we have a curve like this from six to 10 seconds. And then we have constant speed for the last time interval that is from 10 to 12. So how to show a constant speed? We have to do an horizontal line. Straight line represent constant acceleration. Curves, they represent non-uniform acceleration, increasing or decreasing acceleration. And the horizontal line represent constant speed okay next state how the speed time graph can be used to find the distance travel how to calculate distance travel from speed time graph simply calculate the area under the graph next question the graph show how the speed of the car varies with time which statement about the acceleration of the car between 10 seconds to 2 20 seconds is correct this is a speed time graph from 10 seconds to 20 seconds we have horizontal line Horizontal line over here means that the car is or the uh, the body is moving with which speed 15 meter per second with constant speed of 15 meter per second. So if speed is constant or velocity is constant, acceleration will be zero. Acceleration for an horizontal line is zero. So which which option is correct? Option B. The overall stopping distance of a cyclist is made up of two parts. The distance travel cyclists travel during the reaction time of the cyclist that is the thinking distance that is the distance travel before applying the brakes the distance that the cyclists travel after the brakes are applied braking distance is the distance travel after applying the brakes for part a we have to calculate the reaction time so before applying we have to tell what is the time before applying the brakes so this horizontal line, it corresponds to the thinking distance. So the time interval uh, ending, uh, uh, the time interval at which this horizontal line is ending is 0 0.4 seconds. Next part, calculate the thinking distance. Uh, thinking distance will be equivalent to area under this horizontal line and it is equivalent to rectangle. 
this portion represent thinking distance area under deceleration portion this straight line represent what breaking distance so thinking distance equal to area of rectangle formula for area of rectangle is length into breadth and over here length is 7 meter per second and breadth is 0 0.4 second so multiplying the two values the answer is 2.8 meter okay next is we have to state how the breaking distance is found it will be equivalent to what it will be equivalent to area under the straight line from 0 0.4 second till time interval 2.4 second okay next is the same cyclists travel at an initial speed of 5 meter per second right this time the graph will not going to start from 7 it will going to start from 5 meter per second and a ball rolls in front of the cycle at time t equal to the cyclists have the same reaction time and deceleration of the cycle as for the first case draw the new speed time graph for, for the cyclist so what we have to show we are not going to start the graph from 7 meter per second it will be started from where 5 meter per second and then we have to show deceleration right next is the diagram shows a speed time graph for an object moving with uniform acceleration what is the distance travel in the first four seconds so from speed time graph how to calculate the distance travel it is equivalent to area under graph and what is the shape of the area under this straight line it is a triangle so distance travel will be equal to area of triangle that is equal to half into base into height base is four second height is six meter per second half into four second into six meter per second answer become 12 meter per second okay the next question is the speed time graph represent a short journey so the speed time graph which distance time graph represent the same journey over here the speed is increasing right speed is increasing so we have to identify which distance time graph show that speed is increasing so a a show that the speed is increasing if it is a curve it is increasing this curve over here the speed is decreasing but over here speed is increasing so a is the correct answer over here speed is constant over here is speed is zero so we have to tell in which the speed is increasing and that is distance graph a uh, distance time graph a is the correct answer next is an object travels for 20 seconds with a constant speed of 10 meter per second for the next 10 seconds it accelerates uniformly to 20 meter per second what is the total distance traveled by the object in 30 seconds again how to calculate the area uh, the distance uh, traveled from uh, speed time graph that will be equivalent to area under the graph so area under the graph from for 0 to 20 second is a rectangle and then from 20 to 30 second it is trapezium so distance will be equivalent to sum of area of rectangle plus area of trapezium formula for area of rectangle is length into breadth and formula for area of trapezium is half into sum of parallel side into half so length of rectangle is 20 and breadth is 10 meter per second and for trapezium one of the parallel side is 10 meter per second other is 20 meter per second and its height will be 30 minus 20. so the area of rectangle become 200 meter area of trapezium becomes 150 adding them 350 meter is the correct answer next question which speed time graph represents which speed time graph uh, represent which speed time graph represent the motion of a railway train making a short stop at a station So making a short stop at the station means that the body is in the state of rest and there the speed is zero. If speed is zero, 
we have an horizontal line along time axis along x axis for speed time graph so in option c we have an horizontal line along the time axis so correct option is c next question is that the diagram shows the distance time graph for a moving object what is the moving object over here the correct answer is d a train breaking to a halt as it stops at a station so when anything stops when it is stationary the distance time graph shape is in horizontal line so d is the correct option next question question number 30 the figure shows the distance time graph for the journey made by a cyclist between the town a and b what we have to do we have to calculate distance between what is to be calculated it is the distance between the two towns is to be calculated right and then we have to calculate the time for the cyclist during the journey before he reaches the town b so we have to calculate the distance between the two towns and it is equivalent to what it is equivalent to 58 meter from the graph we can see that it is 58 meter over here one small division is equivalent to what it is equivalent to 2 meter so it is 58 meter and then we have to tell the time time is 0 0.8 hours the next question is the speed of the cyclist the speed of the cyclist uh, near the end of the journey is greater than the speed at the beginning state how the graph shows this because it has larger gradient or it travels a larger distance in the same time or it takes a short time to travel the same distance right okay the next part is part c calculate the average speed of the cyclist for the journey from a to b how to calculate average speed it is equal to total distance over total time taken so total distance is 50 8 kilometer and the total time taken is 4 hours this horizontal line means that now uh, the body the the cyclist is not moving so the total time is 4 seconds 4 hours the time is given in hours 58 kilometer divided by 4 hour answer is 14.5 kilometer per hour next question the cyclist takes a ride lasting 250 seconds what is the average speed for the whole journey how to calculate the average speed total distance over total time distance total is 300 meter and total time is 250 second 300 meter divided by 250 answer is 1.2 meter per second next is the part of the speed time graph for two runners is shown they are running along the same track which statement must be correct so correct answer is c runner one is moving with more uh, speed as compared to the runner two because runner one it has higher constant speed and runner two it has lower constant speed horizontal line in speed time graph represent constant speed so c is the correct answer next question is the figure shows the variation with time of the speed of a car as it travels along a level road the car breaks when time is equal to 20 seconds so this the time the distance travel before 20 second is the thinking thinking distance distance travel after 20 second that will be the breaking distance calculate the distance travel for the first 20 second so for the first 20 second the shape of the area before uh, below this horizontal line is a rectangle so distance travel will be equal to what area of rectangle and that is length into breadth so length is 20 second and breadth is 15 meter per second answer is 300 meter calculate the deceleration of the car from time interval 20 to time interval 24 so the final speed is 0 and initial speed is 
15 meter per second using the formula of acceleration change in velocity over change in time final velocity minus initial velocity final is 0 initial is 15 time interval is 24 to 20 so it becomes minus 15 divided by 4 answer become minus 3.5 75 meter per second square negative sign shows deceleration retardation next question the graph shows the movement of the car over a speed of 50 second what is the distance traveled by the car during the time when it is moving at steady speed steady speed means constant speed this horizontal line represents constant speed so we have to calculate the area under this horizontal line which is equivalent to rectangle area of rectangle will be equivalent to the required uh, distance so formula of area of rectangle is length into breadth so length will be 40 minus 20 and breadth is 10 meter per second final answer become 200 meter next question is the figure shows a simplified speed time graph for a train that travels between two stations describe the motion of the train okay what is the situation first it is stationary it is not moving for which time interval from time interval 0 to 20 seconds and for the time interval after 65 seconds and then it is moving with constant speed and which speed that constant speed is 20 meter per second after 20 seconds till 65 seconds Next question, calculate this is traveled by the train between the two stations. It will be the area under this horizontal line and that is equivalent to rectangle. The distance travel is area of rectangle length into breadth. So what we have over here, this breadth will be equivalent to 65 minus 20 and the length will be equivalent to 20 meter per second. So the final answer is 50. 4000 meter this is in minutes time is in minutes so it should be converted into second how to convert minute into second 45 minutes minutes will be replaced by 60 seconds so 45 will be multiplied by 60 to convert into second and then the answer become 54000 meter next question is that another train travels between the same two station on a parallel tra track this, this train travels at constant speed it travels, it starts the journey at time t is equal to 0 and finishes at t is equal to 90 minutes. On the figure, draw the speed time graph for this train. So we need to calculate what is the value of that constant speed. So using the formula, speed is equal to distance divided by time. Total distance traveled by the other train is also the same. We have calculated the total distance that is 54,000 meter. Total time taken for the second train is 90 minutes. 90 minutes will be converted into second. How to convert into second? Minutes will be replaced by 60 seconds. So 90 will be multiplied by 60. Final answer becomes 10 meter per second. So the second train, it moves with, it travels with constant speed. And the value of that constant speed is 10 meter per second. So we have to draw a horizontal line from 10 meter per second till which time interval? till 90 minutes and then we have a sudden decrease in speed showing that that it stops at 90 minutes next question is the graph illustrate the motion of an object which feature of the graph represent the distance traveled by the object while moving at constant speed so this represent that speed is increasing equally in equal interval of time horizontal line represent that body is moving with constant speed so correct answer is c area t area under this horizontal line represent that the body is moving with constant speed next is the figures represent the motion of a car along a straight road the car approaches a small town and then uh, it moves with constant speed from rest from the start of the town to the end of the town. After passing through the town, the car speeds up. We have to calculate the speed of the car in the town. So what is the speed? It is 12. From here, it is shown the car reaches the start of the town. So over here is the speed with which it 
enters the town and that is equivalent to 12 meter per second 12 meter per second over here two boxes they are equivalent to one meter per second so answer is 12 meter per second next uh, calculate the time taken by the car to pass through the town that is what is the time interval at the start of this horizontal line and what is the time interval at the end of this horizontal line these two time intervals they will be subtracted so uh, when it enters the town the time interval is 12 seconds and when it ends the town the time interval is 28 seconds 28 second minus 12 seconds is equivalent to 16 seconds third part calculate the distance traveled by the car in the town and that will be equivalent to the area under this horizontal line and what is the shape of the area under the horizontal line it is rectangle so distance is equivalent to area of rectangle area of rectangle is length into breadth so we have length is 16 second and breadth is 12 meter per second final answer become 192 meter next part the car accelerates after passing through the town calculate the acceleration and we have to calculate this acceleration right so formula of acceleration is change in velocity over change in time so final velocity becomes 28 meter per second initial over here is 12 and time interval is from 34 it is ending at 34 starting from 28 ending at 34 so change in velocity over change in time 28 minus 12 over 34 minus 28 it becomes 16 divided by 6 final answer is 2.67 meter per second square next is with speed diagram shows an object moving with non-uniform acceleration and it is c curves shows non-uniform acceleration this straight line show constant positive acceleration this graph b shows constant deceleration graph d shows zero acceleration so we have to identify uni non-uniform acceleration and it is the curve c next is the graph show the speed of a car as it moves from rest what is the average speed of the car during the first three seconds how to calculate average speed total distance traveled over total time now how to calculate total distance traveled from a speed time graph we have to calculate the area under the graph and the shape of the uh, area below this straight line is triangle so distance travel is equal to area of triangle into half into base into height base is 3 second height is 12 so it becomes 18 meter average distance is total distance over total time 18 meter divided by 3 second answer become 6 meter per second next question the graph shows the part of the journey made by the cyclist how far did the cyclist travel in 7 second right so in we have to calculate what we have to calculate the area of rectangle and then area of trapezium from 0 to 5 second we have a rectangle and from 5 to 7 we have trapezium so distance travel is equal to area of rectangle plus area of trapezium and length of the rectangle is 5 and its breadth is 4 meter per second and for trapezium one of the parallel side is equal to 4 meter per second other is 6 meter per second and its height will be 7 minus 5. So after substituting the values, the area of rectangle is 20 meter, area of trapezium is 10 meter, final answer is 30 meter. Next is a window cleaner drops a sponge from balcony of a hotel at time t is equal to 0 second. And the graph uh, is a speed time graph for the motion of a sponge. State a value of t when the sponge is moving with constant speed so we have to state the value of time when we have constant speed we have horizontal line so where we have uh, the horizontal line over here and what is the corresponding time over here it is between 1.6 second to 2.5 next part what is the value of acceleration at a non-uniform rate we have to tell the time when it is accelerating at the non-uniform rate so it is from 0 0.75 second to 1.65 second. When we have a curve, this shows that we have non-uniform acceleration. 
and this is taking place from which time interval to which time interval 0 0.75 to 1.65 we have to tell the time when it is decelerating so it is it has a sudden decrease in speed over here and at which time interval it is 2.5 seconds calculate the distance traveled by this point between time intervals 0 second to 0 0.75 second so what is the shape over here it is triangle so area of a triangle is equal to half into base into height base is 0 0.75 second and height is 7.2 meter per second final answer is 2.7 meter next question is the figure shows a speed time graph for a rocket from the moment that the fuel starts to burn at time is equal to zero state the size of the acceleration of the rocket at time t is equal to zero at time t is equal to zero we have a horizontal line along time axis this is a speed time graph if we have a horizontal line along time axis it means that there the speed is zero if speed is zero it means that acceleration is also zero both initial and final values of for velocity are zero so acceleration will be also zero state what happens to the acceleration of the rocket between time interval 5 second to 80 second from 5 till 80 second what is happening we have to tell what is happening to the acceleration so we have a curve it is non-uniform acceleration and what is happening to the acceleration it is increasing so it increases to a constant value then it becomes straight line after the curve it becomes a straight line so if it is a straight line, it means that acceleration is constant. So at what is happening to the acceleration very, from very start it was zero, then it starts to increase and then acceleration become constant. Part C, calculate the acceleration of the rocket at 80 seconds. How to calculate the acceleration for speed time graph? We have to calculate the gradient. Gradient is always calculated at two points of a straight line. So one point will be 80 seconds. And at 80 seconds, the corresponding this speed is 1000 meter per second. And we have to select another point at the same straight line. For example, we select 60. So at 60, the speed is 600 meter per second. So how to calculate acceleration change in velocity over change in time? So we have 1000 minus 600 and time interval is 80 minus 60. Final answer is 20 meter per second square. Next question. The figure shows the speed time graph for a racing car of total mass 650 kg as it sets off from the rest at the start of the race. The car travels in a straight line until the time is 9 seconds. State the speed of the car when time is 9 seconds. So at 9 seconds, we have to see what is the speed at this horizontal line. It is 72 meter per second. Over here, one box is equal to two meter per second. So if we see what is the reading corresponding to this horizontal line on y-axis, it is 72 meter per second. Next part, calculate the distance traveled from time interval zero to nine seconds. From zero to nine seconds, the shape of the area below this straight line is triangle. So distance will be equal to area of triangle, half into base into height. Base is nine, height is 72. Final answer is 8 meter. Calculate the acceleration of the car. How to calculate acceleration? Acceleration is also to be calculated from 0 to 9 seconds. Acceleration is change in velocity over change in time. So initial velocity is 0. Final velocity when time interval is 9 seconds is 72. So we have 72 minus 0 and time interval is 9 minus 0. Final answer is 8 meter per second square. Next is a ball starts to roll down a steep slope and then along a rough horizontal ground. Which graph best show the speed of the ball? It is C. So what happens that it is moving along a slope, then it is moving with constant speed, then it moves on a horizontal speed. So correct answer is C. Next is The speed time graph for a car is shown. What is the acceleration of the car at 30 seconds? So at 30 seconds, the speed is zero. Over here, we have a horizontal line. Horizontal line, short horizontal line. Short horizontal line parallel to time axis in case of speed time graph shows that 
speed is constant when speed is constant acceleration is zero so correct answer is zero next question the figure show the speed time graph for the motorcycle along a straight section of the track from the time zero to two second we have to calculate the acceleration from zero to two second acceleration is change in velocity over change in time so from zero to two second at two second the speed is 50 5 meter per second right and at 0 second the speed is 40 so we have 55 minus 40 and time interval changes 0 to 2 2 minus 0 answer become 15 divided by 2 answer is 7.5 meter per second squared. next question is a rock from space is traveling in a straight line at high speed when it enters the earth atmosphere the figure shows the speed time graph for the rock from time t is equal to 0 to time t is equal to 50 second mark with the letter x where the rock is moving with constant speed this is a speed time graph in speed time graph if the body is moving with constant speed the shape of the graph is in a horizontal line so this horizontal line will be marked with x because we have to mark the letter x where the rock is moving with constant speed next we have to mark a letter y when the rock it has uniform deceleration so uniform deceleration is shown by this straight line this straight line and this straight line is y label y the letter z where the rock has non-uniform deceleration non-uniform deceleration will be the area of curves so we have curve over here we have curve over here so this will be also labeled as z and this will be also as z part we calculate the size of acceleration of the rock so formula for acceleration is change in velocity over change in time so for in, in order to calculate the size of acceleration we have to select any two points on the straight line so one point is selected at time interval 25 at time interval 25 speed is 10,000 and other point is selected 19 at 19 we have what uh, the speed uh, the speed is 7000 meter so 10000 minus 7000 meter per second answer is 3000 meter per second and time interval from 25 to minus 19 is 6 second final answer become 500 meter per second squared so how to calculate acceleration for speed time graph we have to calculate the gradient of the straight line and we have to calculate gradient at two different points right one we have selected one time interval is 25 second and other is 19. okay next is a car has stopped at red light when the light When the light changes to green, the car starts moving with a constant acceleration. The graph represents the motion. Which quantity is plotted along x-axis and which quantity is plotted along y-axis? The correct answer is C. Time is always plotted along x-axis and along y-axis distance is plotted. So we have to identify what the car starts with a constant acceleration so distance time graph constant acceleration will be what changing speed speed should be increasing so this should be distance time graph distance along y-axis and time along x-axis next is the graph shows the distance time graph for a car traveling in a straight line in which region the car is decelerating Right? decelerating means that speed is decreasing so where the speed is decreasing it is decreasing at region C right so at region A the speed is increasing at B the speed is constant at C the speed is increasing at D the body is in the state of rest so speed is zero so we have to identify where the car is decelerating car will be decelerating where the speed is decreasing and speed is decreasing at portion c next is that is all for today i hope that today uh, lecture will be clear to you 
and these questions which have been discussed today they will going to help you in the application of the concept dot